My sales are dropping, and I don't know why. I'm Lonnie Shambi, and with Stan Simpkins, we're from Small Business Virtual Roundtables, and we invite you to listen to our three-minute snippet, Top of Mind Awareness. Today, we want to talk about not making sales. Is it your product, your sales team, or your sales process? And any one of them can be the culprit. Whoa. That's a great point. You know, and what I find oftentimes, Lonnie, is small business owners literally can't describe the difference between marketing and selling. As simple as it sounds, they'll go into a long treatise and they really haven't defined the two. And I kind of look at it as well. Marketing is like being, if you're a fisher person, everything you need to know about the fish, where they swim, what kind of bait they have, blah, blah, blah. All that is before they actually throw the hook out to catch the fish. But once the hook is on it, getting them out, that's a sale. They don't define their processes to able to really generate the details of what's causing the problem. And 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 that by and large is really the underpinning of most companies' lack of sales or slowed down sales, et cetera. Oftentimes when they introduce a new product or they bring in a new team or what have you, but it's the process itself from the time a lead comes in to the time a sale gets done. Sales is not an event. It is a process. Lead generation is one thing, closing is another. I'll use that as marketing versus selling. Right. Oftentimes, the owner is, in, in looking at that, they're looking at the wrong end of the problem. They may have a phenomenal lead generation program and a terrible closing capacity, or vice versa. They may have great closing capacity, but an inadequate lead flow. Not all leads are created equal. It's got to be a lead whose whose problem you're solving or whose need you're filling. And if you're not doing either one of those things, that's not a lead. That's just a name. So what you're saying is you got to break those two pieces down, marketing versus, and then look at the components that are in that process because it could be just one little thing. Like we went through this ourselves, just in tweaking our own methodology Absolutely. of reaching out to trade associations, but, for example. Well, Stan, the critical thing is to, is to keep the sales process clean. That is, keep the, keep the sales guys with their eye on the prize at all times, helping and supporting them every way you can. Then the process works. It's we're so busy doing the donuts, it's hard to be focusing all the spokes on this wheel, if you will. That's ab- that well said, well said. Which is why we do the snippets, frankly. Absolutely. For Stan Simpkins, I'm Lonnie Shambi, and this is the Small Business Virtual Roundtable's three-minute snippet. Go to our website at www.sbvirtualroundtables.com to see more. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you next time.